Toro testing is uh, often neglected because uh, it uh, is time consuming and can be very boring um, and uh, to uh, th this becomes an issue when uh, uh, hundreds or thousands of tests need to be uh, performed uh, so there exist automated techniques uh, to perform these tests uh, when uh, uh, um, um, test is uh, uh, made uh, uh, on uh, a unit uh, it uh, would be nice to assume that uh, um, the program will still work correctly uh, however the, uh, with experience uh, experience shows that this is uh, uh, not true uh, and uh, w uh, when uh, uh, a part of the program uh, changes uh, it um, can still run correctly but uh, uh, the other parts of the program uh, can uh, um, uh, not be correct anymore uh, and uh, will fail the testing uh, so um, um, there needs to be a way to um, uh, whenever um, a change uh, is made into a program um, there needs to be a way to rerun all the tests uh, so um, because it's not uh, correct that um, uh, when a change is made uh, the quality of the program only ever improves uh, so uh, there exists uh, automated uh, um, ways to uh, run these tests the easiest way is to uh, make uh, uh, to, to, to write a program uh, that acts as a, a rig test or harness test uh, and uh, uh, these will um, make sure that uh, all the tests are passed not only uh, the ones that are um, not only the new ones uh, and only for, for the new part of the program uh, but also for uh, it will uh, check if the uh, if the uh, previous tests pass for the previous parts of the code uh, and this is uh, regressive testing